Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church to Cuesta, Florida on this Monday, and it's already October 10th. And uh, uh, my name is Joan Enskow. I'm a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office Team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. The service is streamed live every weekday morning at 9 a.m. exclusively on Zoom. If you're watching this later, would like to join in the rest of this week at 9 a.m. and participate in a live service, go to goodsheponline.org, select the worship drop-down list, and click on prayer. Scroll down to find the service leaflet for the day, and then um, just look uh, above the service leaflets. There's an image of prayer books in the pews. Click on the link to join via Zoom. And uh, the service is then available uh, at 10 a.m. on all of Good Shepherd's communication channels, Facebook, YouTube, and the prayer page of uh, goodsheponline.org. So welcome to those who have joined. And uh, there's Ian and Pam. And uh, I'm sure we'll have others join us a little later. It is Friday morning. <laughs> and yours truly um, <clears throat> just woke up. <laughs> So uh, we will take a moment to gather our thoughts and prayers and invite Jesus to be with us. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And here we are. First, we'll start with the confession of sin together. Uh, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will, walk in your ways, in the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord. Open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The Venite will be set in unison. Come. Let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. Kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God. And we are his, and we are his people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Today is Psalms 1 two, and three. We'll say this together, pausing between each one. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seat of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither. 
everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like the chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked shall not stand upright when the judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. By the way of the wicked is doomed. Why are the nations in an uproar? Why do the peoples mutter empty threats? Why do the kings of the earth rise up in revolt and the princes plot together against the Lord and against his anointed? Let us break their yoke, they say. Let us cast off the bonds from us. He whose throne is in heaven is laughing. The Lord has them in derision. Then he speaks to them in his wrath and his rage fills them with terror. I myself have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Let me announce the decree of the Lord, he said to me. You are my son, this day have I begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possessions. You shall crash them with an iron and shatter them like a piece of property. And now you kings be wise, be warned, you rulers of the earth. Submit to the Lord with fear and with trembling bow before him. Lest you be angry and you perish for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are they all who take refuge in him. Lord, how many adversaries I had how many there are who rise up against me, or rise up against me? How many there are who say of me, there is no help for him in God? But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, and you are my glory, the one who lifts my, my head. I call upon the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. Lie down and go to sleep. I wake up again because the Lord sustains me. I do not fear the multitudes of people who set themselves against me all around. Rise up, O Lord, set me free, O my God. Surely you will strike all my enemies across the face. You will break their teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Your blessings be upon your people. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson is from Micah. Woe is me, for I have become like one who after the summer fruit has been gathered, after the vintage has been gleaned, finds no cluster to eat. There is no first ripe fig for which I hunger. The faithful have disappeared from the land and there is no one left who is upright. They all lie and wait for blood and they hunt each other with nets. Their hands are skilled to do evil. The official and the judge ask for a bribe and the powerful del dictate what they desire, lest they pervert justice. The best of them is like a briar, the most upright of them a thorn hedge. The day of their sentinels, of their punishment has come. Now their confusion is at hand. Put no trust in a friend, have no confidence in a loved one, guard the doors of your mouth, from her who lies in your embrace. For the son treats the father with contempt. The daughter rises up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Your enemies are members of your own household. But as for me, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The first song of Isaiah said in unison, Surely 
It is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that the name, his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Our second lesson is from Luke. Jesus and his disciples arrived at the country of Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee. As he stepped out on land, a man of the city who had demons met him. For a long time, he had worn no clothes, and he did not live in a house, but in the tombs. And he did not live in a house. When he saw Jesus, he fell down before him and shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? I beg you, do not torment me. For Jesus has com had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For many times it had seized him. He was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles, but he would break the bonds and be driven by the demon into the wilds. Jesus then asked him, what is your name? He said, Legion, for many demons had entered him. They begged him not to order them to go back into the abyss. Now there on the hillside, a large herd of swine was feeding, and the demons begged Jesus to let them enter these. So he gave them permission. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the swine, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and were drowned. When the swine herds saw what had happened, they ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came out to see what had happened. And when they came to Jesus, they found the man from whom the demons had gone, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Those who had seen it told them how the one who had been possessed by demons had been healed. Then all the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked Jesus to leave them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with him, but Jesus sent him away saying, return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. So he went away, proclaiming throughout the city how much Jesus had done for him. Song of the Redeemed, say together. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Saying together the Apostles' Creed, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, 
his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The colic for the day today is proper 23. Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow us, that we may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. The colic to commemorate uh, Vita Dutton Sutter, educator and witness for peace, who died in 1954. I think someone who is acclaimed to, to commemorate back in the day I graduated from nursing school. He's, he's one of ours. He's one of us in this contemporary field. I'm sorry, I didn't have time to look him up. Since I slept late this morning. But uh, we will commemorate Vita Dutton Sutter. But most gracious God, you sent your beloved Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Raise up in your church witnesses who, after the example of your servant, Vita Dutton Sutter, stand firm in proclaiming the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Now a colic for peace. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us and your, your humble servants in all assaults of our enemies, that we surely, trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Assist us uh, in a prayer for protection. Mercifully, O Lord, in these our supplications and prayers, dispose the way of your servants toward the attainment everlasting salvation that among all the changes and chances of this mortal life they may ever be defended by your gracious and ready help through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
pray now for our brothers and sisters in Christ, particularly those throughout the Anglican communion. Remembering today especially the Diocese of Nambia, Southern Africa, the Right Reverend Luke Cato Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our companion dioceses, remembering today especially the Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Right Reverend Lash Zane Boyd Sr. Bishop. A prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Ricardo, Yolanda, Rick, Kay, Liz, Jeff, Ray, the Burnett McGrath family, Bill, Linton, and Gloria, and Simon. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Ricard. No, I did that. <laughs> we pray also for today for our worship ministries, remembering especially small choral ensembles, that those receiving Holy Communion at Good Shepherd may feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. In Labyrinth Ministries, that those who attend or visit Good Shepherd may walk a spiritual pilgrimage to God's presence and then out into the world anew. A prayer for the parish. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. Ian asks that we pray for our youth confirmation candidates, that they may be, they strive to grow into the full stature of Christ. How wonderful that these young people are taking the next step to belong faithfully to our Lord Jesus Christ in our church. I pray for my Kelsey, my granddaughter today, as today, uh, the steps are being taken for her to enter into a care facility to help her mental health. I pray that all goes well, that she does accept this help, and that God will see that she becomes back to her love of her family and her God. We pray for those that are uh, subject to healing now and of their and helping to build their houses and, and lives that were shattered during the storm. Of course, in, in Southwest, Southwest Florida, where, where our bishop uh, from us is um, Bishop Sharp is um, going around and in helping people and, and um, to, to um, gather with other people in, in Florida, other churches in Florida to, to, to be with them and, and to, to, um, to help them get through all this. 
But we pray for Bishop Sharf too. Yes. Any other prayers that we have? Um, we pray that uh, God will answer and, uh, and quickly. In Jesus' name. We pray also today for our worship ministries, remembering especially small choral ensembles, that those receiving Holy Communion at Good Shepherd may feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. And we do, we do for our choral groups. Labyrinth ministry, that those who attend to visit Good Shepherd may walk a spiritual pilgrimage to God's presence and then out into the world anew. A prayer for the parish. Almighty and everlasting God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. At this time, we invite your prayers, petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared oh, with all or in the silence of your heart. Well, you can see I was all into my prayers. <laughs> if you have any more, please add them. Let's see, I do have no, I don't. A prayer of St. Christostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. You have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. And go in peace to love and serve the Lord and be kind to all. In Jesus' name.